In this video, we're going to look at the Visual Designer's capability to work with color and 3D when it comes to owner draw buttons and labels. Now in Windows, if your application is themed, normally your buttons are predefined and how they will look and their color. You can't change the colors in Windows. But EasyGUI has the ability to draw owner draw buttons, which means they basically that it can custom draw the, the button any way it wants. You can actually write low-level owner draw code using EasyGUI commands to basically draw anything you want for a 3D button. But the Visual Designer has a number of features built in where it's all automated for you. Let's select a control. We're going to select a button control. We're going to double click it and display its property dialog. Now since button controls can't have colors, if you select a color for a con button control, then the designer automatically knows you want it to be owner draw or 3D. So we're going to select a nice blue background here. Click apply. Now notice we now have a totally different looking button. This is 3D, but it's owner draw. And I can create any color that I want. Let me change it to another color. Go to a, kind of a real light green here. Now you can change the color of the text for the foreground color. In this case, I'm going to make it a dark green. And now we have a 3D button. Let's go into test mode and see how our 3D button works. But there's a number of options you can use for designing your buttons. Double click it again and we'll get the property dialog. And now what we're going to do is, is we're going to change the shape of the control. Well there's two options that you have. You can set a region and it's in the properties options list I'm going to set the region to an ellipse so it's rounded. And what happens is I get a totally different looking button here. Now I'll go back to the properties dialog and I'm going to change it to set region to rounded rectangle. And again, I get a totally different looking style button. That's not all. Not only can you select the different options for the button controls and have them custom drawn, different colors and so forth. At the project level, I can go to the project tab, edit project properties, go into the plugins, and there's two plugins that are that come with the uh, visual designer. Uh, you can actually create your own and compile them into DLLs and add them to the designer, and you can actually change the 3D button engine. So now you have a totally different style 3D button. Notice how it has a kind of shaded at the bottom and light at the top. If I go back to the project palette again, edit the project palettes, palette uh, properties, and I'll go to plugins and I'll use the uh, other plugin. Now I have another style button here. So you can use only one plugin per project. But it allows you the flexibility to literally change an entire project by just changing the plugin that you use. Now, if we go back and we'll change it back to the default, which basically is that it doesn't use a plugin at all and uses the designer default. Now we have our 3D button here. Now we don't want to have one button that's uh, owner draw and the other is regular, so we're going to make them all the same. So I'm going to hold the control key down, and I'm going to select all the button controls here, and then I'm going to hold the control key and the alt key down together. When I double click, I get a multiple control properties dial. Now I can set the properties for multiple controls at one time, and I'm going to set them all the same. And I'm going to set them all to the same colors. And so I'm going to change the, the 
font, the colors. And the properties. Click apply. Now they're all the same. The last thing we want to look at is the label control. And it has owner draw features as well. And here to set a label control for owner draw, we have to set a property owner draw label. Once we do that, now we can actually customize. Now you'll notice that when I select that property here, a little button displays, a little arrow button, which allows you to display a builder dialog for working with owner draw 3D labels. So we can control a gradient. I'm going to select some nice colors here. I'm going to go top to bottom. Change my text. Okay. I'm going to click apply. Now I have a nice gradient in the background. I can even make it 3D. Uh, what do you think of that? Nice 3D owner draw label. I might say, well, label control has a builder dialog. Do you have one for the button controls? Actually, we do. Let's go back to the button control, double click it. Now you'll notice that it also has this little arrow button. I can display it, and I get a button builder. Now the button builder creates two different types of buttons. One has a little light macros which you can just basically select it and it puts a little colored light box to the left of the text. And that's for controls where you basically want to have text and you can put a little light on it. And the color can be changed via code and maybe it has a certain meaning indicating that uh, maybe it's active or not active or so forth. Another option is to create a control uh, with 3D shapes that are uh, basically built in. And so, for example, if you're going to make like a VCR type of application, you can actually add different shapes on the button. And there's different options. For example, I can make it more square. I can double it so there's two of them. I can make them larger. So with each option, there's a number of different styles that you can create. Now you have a 3D button, a little graphic on it. And these are useful for applications like this is like a, a VCR type style buttons that you can create on your forms. So we can see that you can do a lot with owner draw directly in the easy GUI visual designer which allows you to create some very unique applications